All right, friends, in this question, we are given the length and width of a rectangular room are measured to be 3.95 plus minus 0.05 meter and 3.05 plus minus 0.5 meter, respectively. The area of the floor is, uh, it's a direct error analysis based question. The area of the floor is given as length multiplied by breadth. So if we fill the value of length here, that is 3.95, we multiply it with breadth that is given to us as 3.05. We end up getting uh, the exact answer as 12.0475 and when we round it off, uh, when this 5, why do we round it off is because the two multiplied values have three significant figures. So the final answer should have three uh, significant figures. However, in all the options we are given four significant figures. So basically none of the answers are correctly mentioned here. But if we round it off uh, 5, if we drop this value, previous digit is odd. So the answer would round off to this value 12.048. The previous digit is increased by 1 uh, because we are dropping 5. So previous digit is odd. It will increase by 1 according to the rule for rounding off. This still has 5 signal figures. We reduce it to 4 by dropping 8. 8 is greater than 5. That means previous digit is increased by 1. So we get 12.05. This should have also been dropped. Finally, we should have had, after dropping 5, the previous digit would have increased by 1. The answer should have been this. However, the answer that is given to us is this in all four options. So this is one mistake that is there in the question. Now, following the error analysis method, the error in area, relative error in area, uh, since we are given area as product of length and breadth, relative error in area is given as the relative error in length plus the relative error in breadth. Now if we fill the values and rearrange delta A should be equal to A into delta L by L plus delta B by B. So this area A is given as length into breadth. If you multiply this inside, this will simplify our calculations. A length into breadth multiplied by delta L by L will give us B into delta L plus uh, this value will come out to be L into B into delta B by B, B and B will cancel, we get L into delta B. Now we fill the values, breadth is given to us as uh, 3.05 and error in length is given to us as 0 0.05, multiply this and plus 3.95, this is the length given to us, multiplied by 0 0.05, that is the error given to us in breadth. Now if we take 0 0.05, 0 0.05 as common, we get 3.05 plus 3.95, we add that, we get 7, uh, since both have uh, same number of decimal places, that is a 2 each, so the final answer should be having uh, uh, at least 2 decimal places, it should be 7.00, that means 3 second figures total, multiplied this with 0 0.05, this has only 1 significant figure, so the final answer. When we multiply this, we get 0 0.35. So the closest answer to this is given to us uh, here. The error in area is given to us as 0 0.34, the closest answer. However, we should round it off to 0 0.4 only, one significant figure. Because here in multiplication, we have only one significant figure in 0 0.05. So the final answer, uh, the final answer should have been 12.1 plus minus 0 0.4 meter square but the given answer to us is 12.05 plus minus 0 0.34 meter square so actually none of the options match the correct answer but the closest answer that is taken as the correct answer is uh, option C. Also, uh, we will not take option D as the closest answer because here also uh, we have the zero significant. So if we have to have the zero significant, if we need to have two significant figures in both the answers, then the closest answer that we should correct is the third one and not the fourth one because this is closer to 0.35. If we round it off to one significant figure, then it should be 0.4 and this zero trailing zero should not be there because it becomes significant. Uh, because this trailing zero is after the decimal place. So uh, this will have two significant figures. This will also have two significant figures. We should go with this answer. So the correct answer to this question 
will be option C.